नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द अपकमिंग ट्रांसिट ऑफ प्लैनेट वीनस व्हिच ऑन जनवरी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड इज गोइंग टू ट्रांसिट द साइन ऑफ एक्वेरियस एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसिटिंग ओवर हेयर टिल फरवरी फिफ्टींथ सो नाउ गाइज ड्यूरिंग दिस ईयर इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी डिस्टिंगटिव ट्रांसिट बिकॉज वंस वीनस विल एंटर द साइन ऑफ एक्वेरियस it is going to get conjunct with its very good friend which is planet saturn now friends uh, the relationship which these two planets hold with each other see you have to understand this thing that in all the rising signs of venus saturn becomes the yogaraka planet and all the signs ruled by the planet saturn and in those rising signs venus becomes the uh, yogaraka planet so because of which if these two planets are working harmoniously in someone's life whether you talk about in your natal chart or whether in the transit as well it will actually drive you towards some very good decision making like if there is going to be one area or one application one way why which i can understand the right functioning of venus in energies in someone's life so that is definitely going to be how consciously aware decision this person takes which takes him towards higher fulfillment apart from that venus can also gives you charisma luxury a very fine good taste in life um very uh, healthy nurturing uh, loving relationship all around you but when it comes down to in all these areas saturn's touch or saturn's influence makes you very realistic makes you very practical and like the way guys i always say this thing like whether we talk about the daily transit or even the monthly transit which so ever planet comes in contact with the planet saturn and if you will take any of the important decision connected with that planet during that time it is definitely going to have very long lasting results or positive impact in your life and guys uh, definitely like the way i'm emphasizing more on some very right set of choices which will give you higher fulfillment so over here let's try to understand one flaw side of it a lot many times you come across all those people like i still remember uh, back in my school days uh, there used to be my um, uh, classmate he was from a very wealthy family but still his father used to drive a very old model of scooter now he might have very good dhan yoga in his chart but might be venus is not very good that he never uh, feel that need for having a comfortable travel for himself same is the way now over here ever since i moved to canada and when i was trying to uh, establish myself i even did some uh, like uh, menial jobs as well and over there i even saw a couple of times that people who are so much fascinated with the luxury brands that they get their first bi weekly check and they will take the whole amount of money and just buy one luxury bag so you can see in both of these cases that this is not a dignified way of the functioning of the venus in qualities and also guys when it comes down to the matters of the love marriage so uh, like definitely if you are living in a western country where uh, openness in the relationship is still acceptable then that's a different case but sometimes when people ask me coming from very traditional communities that uh, in my chart my fifth house is in a very dignified state my venus is in a very strong state so that means i'm destined for love marriage only but over there as well guys if you will not have a positive support or aspect or contribution coming in from the planet saturn these are among those charts where even after getting married once like you um, got married to a person of your choice but your heart keeps on falling in for some other people as well throughout the course of the life so because of which saturn's influence of uh, saturn's influence on venus is always a very supporting energy if utilized in a constructive way it can make you appreciate luxury work hard for the luxury and can also give you very important loving lasting relationship in your life as well and definitely guys here we are talking about the aquarius sign so influence of venus on aquarius has everything to do with the uh, large group association friendship and having some good time with your friends and if in your line of work 
any of the support from important people prominent people favors from important people if that is also an integral part of your line of work too much of the networking too much of the marketing good word of mouth is also an integral part of your line of work so venus's transit in the aquarius is definitely going to be bringing some very good news very good results for all of you so okay guys now we will uh, start our discussion customize to all the lagnas so starting first with the aries lagna natives so definitely guys uh, in your case uh, venus has got the rulership of your uh, second house and the seventh house now venus becomes a killer planet but becomes a very important planet for your finances for your commercial success and for your public image so venus's transit in the 11th house can be seen as a very good news like rather i would say that if you are on a lookout for some new collaboration new partnership new connection or you're awaiting some very good or big opportunities like the way guys i already mentioned this thing at the beginning of this video that whichever planet comes in the close contact of saturn and if you will take any of the important decision connected with the domain of that planet the chances of uh, those decision giving you long term positive outcome or results tend to remain very strong so over here in your financial management in your financial portfolio if you are planning to invest some big chunk of money you are about to sign any new contract any new agreement so all those things will prove out to be in your favor and also guys in the matters of love romance relationship support from friends so overall a very good transit for all the aries lagna natives moving ahead guys now for all the taurus lagna natives so guys in your case now as you can see that uh, venus is your ascendant lord so beyond doubt wherever venus will go the whole focus of your life will go in the areas of that house so because venus is going to be transiting to your 10th house it is going to get conjunct with saturn over there and saturn has just transited to your 10th house so this will be making a raj yoga of highest form highest order for you guys so guys i would say that specifically the positive constructive impact is going to come in your professional life so i would say that any of the important decision which has been long impending or you are planning to restructure anything or take any important decision applying for a new role or a new job or uh, getting the due recognition for all the hard work you have been doing so all of that can be foreseen now guys try to look at the brighter side of this like saturn has just transited to your 10th house saturn is your yog karaka planet and a conjunction of your ascendant lord along with it and if your life's important decision are also coinciding during this timeline only so the chances of getting success in all of those areas and there was is going to be all time high with this entry of venus in your 10th house so overall guys it's a very good time for you so i would say that do not procrastinate if any of the important work related travel work related decision work related meetings are there in the back of your mind prioritize it at the time when your uh, ascendant lord is in a conjunction uh, with your yog karaka planet in your 10th house like guys uh, even the next transit of saturn um, venus your ascendant lord after this is going to be in its sign of exaltation but i would still say even more better than that is going to be this transit when it is in conjunction with your yog karaka planet so take the best value out of this conjunction taking place in your 10th house moving ahead guys now for all the uh, gemini lagna natives so guys in your case uh, definitely venus is a very favorable planet for you guys and it is going to be transiting in your 9th house coming in contact with saturn so guys one thing is for sure that during this time if you want to initiate any of the process of uh, immigration uh, admission to any foreign uh, university so you can prioritize doing that i have already mentioned this thing venus's influence uh, on the saturn can be seen as a indication of making some important long term investment in the areas which are either connected with venus or which are connected with your ninth house so from ninth house we generally see travel uh, it's important house of wisdom any of the impending pilgrimages 
any of the pilgrimages if you have been uh, postponing them for a long time any of the concerns of education any of the concerns of uh, investment in art creativity in uh, stock market trading so if you are planning to make some very conscious very uh, well calculated investment or decision pertaining to the matters of the fifth house and ninth house so this is going to be a very good time for prioritizing all these decision like i would say that if you are a writer you have to uh, start writing a, a new book or you want to release your book release any of the content created by you so prioritizing it in this timeline like from uh, january 22nd till february 15th when uh, venus is in conjunction with saturn in your ninth house of luck and fortune will definitely bring some very good omen very good results for all of you guys now guys for all the uh, cancer lagna natives so guys in your case uh, venus uh, has got the rulership over your fourth house and the 11th house and it is going to be getting conjunct with saturn in your eighth house so one thing is for sure that um, any of the concerns of a uh, paternal property related issue any of the concerns of inheritance legacies any of the concerns of royalties um, so over there you can get some very good results second thing is that one thing is for sure guys that during this time whatsoever gains you will experience whatsoever opportunities which will come they are going to be very sudden in nature so do not be in this mode of rejecting anything which you are not finding very uh, harmonious or compatible with you on surface level so many times only when you will get deeper into any of the opportunity any of the proposal which has come to you you get to know the brighter side of it because like the way i've been saying this thing venus has got the rulership over your 11th house and its conjunction with saturn can actually give you some very lasting some very big opportunity as well and guys when it comes down to opportunities any of the combination which gets formed with the 11th house and the 8th house this is capable of forming a raj yoga of highest order so this is how guys i can say for you and specifically in all those profession like where uh, creating controversy creating scandal or like other people's problem is a a uh, source of income for you like you're working as a lawyer you working as a psychiatrist so this can be seen as a very good time for all those people but majorly and chiefly a very good time for uh, people who are going through any of the property related dispute and lastly guys um, now saturn has entered your 8th house you have to give heightened attention to your health moving ahead guys now for all the uh, leo lagna natives so guys in your case definitely venus has got the rulership over your uh, 10th house and it is going to be transiting and getting conjunct with saturn in your 7th house which can be seen as a very good raj yoga for you guys so because guys uh, if you will apply the concept of the bhavad bhavam from the 10th house if you will go uh, 10 places ahead you will reach the 7th house so this is a kind of a typical yoga where all the hard work done by you can reap some very good results because venus has also got the rulership over your third house as well so if you have been consistently working hard and you have invested in some new ideas or you are approaching for some new collaboration or you want to initiate any new project any new venture so your third house lord and 10th house lord being conjunct with saturn in the 7th house is the very right time for initiating those projects because guys i have been saying this thing repeatedly uh, venus coming in contact with saturn that too in the 7th house where it gets a uh, very strong even in the original karl purush kundli as well so that in itself is a indication that any of the commercial decision taken by you during this time will reap some very good returns very good results and also guys a very good time for the enhancement of reputation as well and specifically all those people who are connected with politics who are connected with uh, any of the mass media related uh, fields a very good news a very good time for all those people and during this time guys um, in your success your partner might also play a very pivotal role and venus is entry in the 7th house and let's say for example if you are already going through a uh, time period of finding a right partner for yourself you are on a lookout for that matrimonial alliances and your dashas are also running favorable so you can start um, like you can initiate the process of being 
on a very serious lookout because guys very soon uh, jupiter is also going to be transiting to your ninth house as well so uh, venus's entry in the uh, seventh house is kind of creating that yoga of running into right proposal right matrimonial alliances so this is equally getting applicable in the cases of the business partnership as well so guys overall a very good time for all the leo lagna natives moving ahead guys now for all the virgo lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that venus becomes a very important planet for you guys it has got the rulership of your uh, second house of the dhan bhava ninth house of your luck and fortune and it is going to be getting conjunct with saturn in your sixth house so guys like the way i have been saying this thing repeatedly that if venus is coming in contact with saturn so any of the decision which you will take connected with the domain of venus connected with the domain of the house where they are going to get conjunct will give you some very important lasting rewards and results so the thing is in the matters of your uh, uh, business your uh, job if you want to restructure anything uh, make some long term investment go on um, like if you are an, on a top management any of the new changes you are planning to bring in the uh, management or any of the changes which you are thinking about you are contemplating in your daily line of work will actually prove to be very fruitful for you second thing is that guys because uh, second house lord is going in the sixth house so i would say that uh, all those people because venus is in a dignified state in the sixth house so pertaining to the matters of your business expansion if you are on a lookout for any new loans or you are in a need of uh, uh, raising some capital or money from the market so even from that uh, perspective this entry of venus in your sixth house can be seen as a very good sign now guys i want to be very honest over here the role which venus is playing in your chart and the house in which it is going to be entering and the planet it is going to be getting conjunct with it only has got a material uh, results attached for you because venus is also a planet of feel good factor happiness enjoyment so that aspect might be lacking so suddenly you might feel that uh, pressure of work or your accountability of the work is taking a toll on your daily happiness but again i would say that it's a very good time for taking some very important decision at your work front and also i would say that if you are uh, anticipating any new raise or in the past your relationship with your colleagues have got bitter so that can also improve with this entry of venus in your 6th house and a lot many times uh, okay this is not a typical combination of love affair but venus's influence on the saturn many times if it is taking place in the 10th house 6th house so uh, you know with your bosses or authority figures someone who is older than you so falling for that or some love romance misunderstanding so that energy can also get created so be careful in all these areas now guys for all the libra lagna natives so guys in your case venus becomes your ascendant lord so that in itself means that your whole focus will go in the areas where your ascendant lord is going to be transiting second thing is that guys like the way i have been repeating this thing in this whole video that whichever planet comes in contact with saturn and if you will take any of the important decision connected with the area of that planet and the house where it is going to be transiting will prove to be very fruitful and it give you very long lasting results so i would say that in the matters of the fifth house this is going to be a very good time for making some very heavy long term investments now this could be in any of the media related career in the uh, education of your children in making some investments in the stock market and all of that so regarding all that front this is going to be a very good time second thing is that guys because uh, i would also say that uh, like if in your chart you are running some favorable dasha and you are on a lookout you have been single for a long time you are on a lookout for the right partner for yourself now this could be a matrimonial alliance or if you are living in that western country where dating someone is your priority right now so regarding all that front as well love romance art creativity some very substantial and concrete outcome can be uh, expected with this entry of venus in your fifth house second thing is that guys uh, because i would say that if you have to also you are an artist you are a creative person and you need to launch a product you need to start working on some new project 
or you have to go on any of the important brand meetings. So regarding all that front, Venus's entry in the fifth house can be seen as a very good sign. Not individually Venus, but uh, Venus coming in contact with your Yogkarka planet Saturn in the fifth house. So overall guys, I only have good things to say and I would say that if any of your life aspiration right now hovers around the areas of the fifth house so prioritize those decision those work in that area because this is going to be a raj yoga of highest order when your ascendant lord is conjunct with your yogkarka planet in the fifth house now guys for all the scorpio lagna natives so guys, in your case, uh, Venus has got the rulership over your 7th house and the 12th house and it is going to be transiting in your 4th house. So one thing is for sure that a lot many Scorpio Lagna natives will have that feel good factor, enjoyment and comfort in the company of their family members. Second thing is that if you are planning to take some important decision in the matters of your 4th house, like this could be buying a new vehicle, doing any renovation at your home front, or if uh, as a part of your uh, livelihood, you are working as a realtor. So this can be seen as a very good news. Like guys, like the way I say this thing, any planet coming in contact with Saturn just tells about that some important long-term decision, profitable decision connected with the domain of that planet. So Venus, which is a significator of wealth, of our finances. It has got the rulership over your house of uh, commercial and business dealings. So definitely some very concrete long term uh, kind of, you know, association, uh, client acquisition can be foreseen with this entry of Venus in your fourth house. So overall, guys, it is going to be a very profitable time for the Scorpio Lagna natives. And one thing is that just because uh, Venus in your case has got the rulership over your 12th house as well. So even if some money is going to be spent in the matters of your domestic life, the good part over here is that it is not going to be a wasteful spending. It is only going to bring happiness in the family life. Moving ahead guys, now for all the uh, Sagittarius Lagna natives. So guys, uh, in your case, uh, Venus has got the rulership over your 11th house and the 6th house and it is going to be transiting in your 3rd um, house. So guys, one thing is for sure that although Venus is not a very auspicious and favorable planet for you, but its uh, conjunction with the Saturn in the 3rd house is a very good news specifically for all those people who are working in the fields of uh, social media, content creation, sales, media, marketing, teaching, travel and tour business. So all those people will definitely get benefited. And like the way guys, I've been saying this thing in this whole video that uh, just because any planet which comes in the contact with the Saturn. So the attributes represented by that planet, the house which is coming in scrutiny. And if you will take any of the long term decision connected with these two entities, Venus and the house, you will definitely get benefited. So during this time, any of the new contract, new agreement, new partnership, new tie up will prove to be very profitable. And also I would say that if you are planning to initiate some new project and for long you have been pulling yourself back, you're not able to muster up the courage or you're not able to find the support of the right set of people. So when your 11th house Lord is getting conjunct with Saturn in the third house, if you will put forth your best efforts, so during this time, you might get the sort of uh, support, funding, sponsorship, which you have been eyeing. So overall, guys, a very good time for the Sagittarius Lagna natives and specifically people who are chiefly operating in the domain of the third house. Moving ahead, guys, now for all the Capricorn Lagna natives. So guys, in your case, uh, Venus is your uh, Yogkarka planet. And it is going to be transiting in your second house, which is going to be forming a Dhan Yoga of the highest form for you guys. So guys, uh, beyond doubt, during this time, if you are connected with business, any of the family related business, or you are dealing in the domain of the Saturn, technology, iron, minerals. So all those people will definitely get benefited because guys, uh, Ascendant Lord getting conjunct with the Yog Karaka planet in the Dhan Bhava is a chief indication that either you will get benefited in the form of some immediate financial return or let's say for example if your dashas are running favorable and you will sow seeds 
to some new investment, new corporation or new collaboration or some new uh, business domain, even if you are planning to enter. So this is going to be a very right time when Venus is transiting in your second house. So I would say that um, if you actually want to initiate or venture out into some new business, so this is going to be the right time for you. So take into consideration the right set of Muhurta, auspicious Lagan and initiate those aspiration of yours and they will definitely give you some good return. And guys, for all those people who are connected with the fields of uh, media or anything to do with the specifically the Venus in domain. So definitely guys, during this time, um, any of the work done by you, will give some lucrative financial return as well and guys because venus is transiting in your second house so your speech is also going to be very convincing if you will be put forth in a situation where you have to negotiate some important deals so you will be able to do justice to all of that so overall guys a very good uh, yoga and all of your decision making and all of your professional endeavors if taken in a very right way will definitely have a straight impact on some very good financial return, financial rewards for all of you guys. Now guys, for all the Aquarius Lagna natives, so Venus being your Yo Karaka planet, it's going to be getting conjunct with your Ascendant Lord right over there in your first house, forming a Raj Yoga of the highest form. So guys, one thing is for sure that any of the work related travel, work related decision making will prove to be very favorable where luck is definitely going to be supporting you. Second thing is that guys, because Venus has got the rulership over your fourth house as well. So if you are already living in a foreign land and you are looking out to buy your first home or any of the concerns of getting a new vehicle, redecorating your home, spending money on any of the interior decor related things can be considered during this time when Venus is transiting from your first house. Overall guys, it's a very good time where uh, you will actually remain lucky and um, in the form of because of your charisma, because of your good uh, diplomatic skills, you will be able to negotiate in any of the conflicting or important situation and because of your charisma you will attract lot many opportunities towards you so overall guys it's a very good time and i would say that because uh, whenever fourth house and ninth house combination gets formed so any of the major areas of your life like this could be buying a home for yourself or you are in that age group that you are actually looking forward to a match for your children or any of the important auspicious celebrating events within the family life can also materialize during this time when Venus is going to be transiting from your first house. So overall guys, it's a very good news for all the Aquarius Lagna natives. And lastly guys, for all the uh, Pisces Lagna natives, so guys, in your case, although Venus is not a very auspicious planet for you, but in the original Karl Purush Kundli, Venus gets very strong whenever it is placed or transiting from the 12th house. And let's say, for example, if your aspirations right now are aligned in the domain of the 12th house, you are invested in the domain of research, exploration, or you have migrated to a foreign land and now you are looking out for some new opportunities. You have just completed your education in a foreign university. Now you're looking out for some uh, job placement. So this could be a very good time for you only if your life aspirations are aligned in the domain of the 12th house. Because guys, uh, Venus has got the rulership over your 8th house and 3rd house as well. So whatsoever opportunity will come, it is going to be very sudden in nature, unpredictable in nature. But the good part over here is that just because Venus is conjunct with Saturn. So the uh, outcome of that or the possibility of that opportunity to stay with you for long, benefit you for long, is going to be very strong when Venus is transiting from your 12th house. Just refrain from not getting into the clandestine, secretive, intoxicating side of the 12th house. So this is something guys, which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs for this upcoming transit of Venus in the Aquarius sign. For further more updates and notifications on the divine science of Vedic astrology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Then you are.